Okay, welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is the Goon to God run, and we managed to get about three hours of sleep before our horrible acidic discharge woke us up, and we woke up and we were finally clear headed. The addictions were gone. So Gary knew it was time to seize the opportunity. He felt the best he had in a very long time. He was finally free. And he was fucking tired of always getting woken up every few hours. Could you imagine how horrible that would be? So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to go down there and fight. At this point, I can talk somewhat about the combat system in this game and how it all works. So part of the combat system is going to boil down to, to weapons, like attacking, and then armor, defending. Let's see what I got on me right now. You can get to this button by pressing shift left bracket. So right now I'm wearing the t-shirt, it's a little fucked up. Jeans, got a backpack on. So let's just get naked, let's start from there. You can press capital T to take off clothing. Okay, now, oh god look at me, look at my naked body. <laughs> So I want to put on that backpack for now. Oh, no, nah, actually, I'll wait. Let's get dressed. One of the things that we have in our favor is something called stylish. So anything that's stylish I want to put on. Is a wristwatch stylish? No. A shark suit. Oh my god, a full body costume of an anthropomorphic shark. <laughs> Sunglasses are good to wear, so I'll just go ahead and put those on. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else. So let's just put on a shirt. It seems like undershirt is just ever so marginally better. As you can see, these have coverage, and so the coverage is the percent chance that it's the armor is actually going to activate. So this is ever so marginally better. I'll go ahead and put that on. Leather pants. See, these are good. I mean, they have a little bit more bash and cut protection, but the problem is, is that they encumber me. And right now, I suck so bad at fighting that I don't want to have it be too encumbering. So I'll go ahead and just put on the jeans. I'll press capital U to unload the jeans. Look at this. Store all this in the backpack. Yeah, put it all in the backpack. <laughs> um, I guess I'm putting it in a plastic bag that's in my hand. So... From here, I can go to the jeans in my inventory. I keep unloading them. I can select them and press V to get to the pocket settings. Look at these. So, I don't know, there's some kind of crazy ass settings you can do. The only setting you need to know is to press D, and that makes it so that you won't put stuff in the pockets. Okay, from here, you can see I only have four encumbrance on my leg, so I'm basically unencumbered still. Same with my backpack on, I'm doing good. Now let me put on some socks. Let me put on some shoes. Where do I... Do I not have shoes? My shoes must have gotten destroyed or I must have lost them somehow. Fuck, I don't know when that happened. Oh no, here they are. Sneakers. Because they're called sneakers, not shoes. Okay, cool. So at this point... Let's see what's going on. 
Our arms are completely unprotected. It's okay. Let's put some fancy stuff back on now. We want morale. In fact, let's see if we can check it. Yeah, look, so right now we're at a positive 12. That's solid to just be walking around with. This character is gonna be such a god because of all these fucking traits we got. Here, let's put on a couple more things. I don't know, do I want anything else? I could put a bandana on for my head. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with that. Let's put that. Do I have the tie on? Yeah, necktie, fancy hair pin. Okay, let's do it. So finally, let's see, what's the best weapon I have? And maybe I can, at this point, I can maybe even make a good weapon. Mm, nah, it doesn't really look like I can make a good weapon. This stuff all sucks. Okay, so without a doubt, it's gonna be that meat cleaver still, I think. Let's just check. Yeah, 16. Okay, let's move some of this stuff real quick. Now, I'm gonna change preemptively. I'm gonna do some stuff for the zones. Let's remove the unsorted zone. And so from now on, the looting zone is gonna be, oh, whoops. Yeah, here, it'll be. I'm just gonna drop whatever I find kind of like right up in here. Actually, I shouldn't even have it be so far away. I don't know, whatever. That's fine. That's fine where it is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're gonna go down there and fuck them up. Look at look at them sunglasses. I look devilish. Okay, at this point, I don't think there's anything else. It says I'm a little hungry. Let's eat a little bit of food real quick. Got all my my vitamins and stuff. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Well, this is what happens. So immediately I walked down the stairs. Gary walked down the stairs and he was, just, he was surrounded by three zombies. He ran back up the stairs. He thought to himself, and he thought he could get them stuck on this table up here. So here it comes. I want to be really cautious at the beginning. I'm still, oh shit. I'm still a scrub. So look, when they go onto this table, it's gonna make it cost more for them. Things have a move cost, you see. So this will help me get more hits off on them. Did they lose me? Where are they? Fuck, where did that dog go? Why do they keep doing that? Alright, whatever, I gotta just make this hurt. I'm gonna hit it. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to kite it first. Here we go, here we go, I finally got it. Okay, here it comes. Oh, it's about to die. Bam! A pink tab! This is like uh, MDMA, basically. Fucking ridiculous. And I think it's not addictive, which is insane. It's like a, a someone on the subreddit. Oh shit, there's that dog. Someone on the subreddit did a tier. They like ranked the drugs in tiers, and Pink Tab was one of the best ones. 
Okay, not bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got grabbed. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they grabbed me. They hit the fuck out of me. I'm bleeding all over. Okay. Same plan. Believe it or not. Uh, they, I, I think they're all like, the corpses are all kind of rotted because they're all really close to dying. Oh fuck, that was horrible. I don't think that can... I can't do that again, man. That'll, that'll kill me. I'm gonna turn this mp3 player on to listen to some music. If I yell, will they come up? No. Fuck, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to go back down there. Let's try the other staircase. Can I peek? Oh, you can peek down the staircase. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Look, there's... Oh my fucking god, dude. This is bad. There's so many. battle of attrition I think this is how it is at the beginning you can die so fast so fucking scared. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's just see if I can fight him off. Oh, that SWAT one is scaring me so bad. I don't like this. Can I kill this? You hit the SWAT zombie, but do no damage. Fuck! to stop the bleeding. <laughs> weapon I have. What are my skills at? I finally have level 1 melee, thank god. Okay, let's just see what's going on out here. resistant to cutting which makes those cutting weapons suck it looks like the best bash weapon I have right now is a pipe oh god I'm so scared okay where are they oh they're fucking with me come on where are they They're 
just coming up and down as they please now, I guess. Aren't they up here with me, though? It's that SWAT zombie eye. That's, like, the biggest thing I'm thinking about right now. Look at this horrible gore fest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, they're breaking more holes. All right, I'm going to... This is insanity. So I guess it went back down, right? Yeah, it went back down. Oh my god, there's not as many. I'm actually slowly working through them amazingly. What should I do? Should I push it? I'm, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be hubristic and I'm gonna push it a little bit. Yeah. Come at me, motherfuckers. Come on, who's next? Who's next? Come on. Oh, here we go. Ah. Ow. Oh, God. Here's this one with the fucking axe. He's almost dead. Ah. Ow. Fuck, man. Come on. Alright, I need to stop soon. I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked. Let's see, what should I do? Let's check, where are we at? Oh my god, I fucking accidentally went down the stairs. Well, I checked. What does this one have? such an imagination in my mind I'm like seeing all this happen yeah. holy shit dude there's so many thank god they were all um something was wrong they were all like very close to death already they were all kind of injured already not that I'm necessarily complaining all right I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna show you the, the meaning of the phrase discretion is the better part of valor. So my melee is level one now and I just killed a bunch of them and that was hard as shit and they were kind of beating my ass. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this weapon called the cudgel. I can make it now that, um, now that I have melee level one. Isn't this game so cool? It's like, I already know how to build stuff and I've kind of thought about all these fights I was just in, what it means to strike what it means to have to swing a weapon, and it's given me the insight to be able to to carve this thing out called Cudgel. Okay, so before I continue, look, I have a Cudgel now. This thing is, believe it or not, this, this silly little thing is super badass and very important because of what it's about to let me do. And I'm also getting all these corpses in my... Uh, my loot zone. So is that my answer? Yeah. I'm also gonna add a zone called Strip Corpses. That will be equivalent to this zone. All right, looks great. So let's sort all this stuff out. Let's see what we got. You'd be surprised. You can get some really useful stuff off a of, off of good zombie corpse. Okay, so now I think I do the loot. Gosh, that was insane. There were so many. Notice how I had to go back and forth a lot? It's, it's very much that type of game where you gotta take your time. You gotta play it kind of like chess. Especially at the beginning. Oh, look, there was some... There was, like, a body I didn't know about. Here, let's... Let's just sort that last body. Cool. 
Oh man, okay, that was insanity. So my my focus is starting to come back up because I have this good morale. So what I want to do is I want to actually keep getting more focus. Let's look at the books and let's see what the best book is going to be. So it looks like it's still these two. We have the two books that have plus three fun for only five minutes of time. So all I do is I just read these for a sec. Oh, it's in the plastic bag, I see. I was like, where is this stuff it's talking about? Let's keep going though. Alright, I think that's the best. Yeah, I'm at 77. That's pretty good. I'm also going to do that run. I'm trying to get my health stat back up every day. I'll just do something mundane, like things like bandaging practice are mundane for me. I'll actually gain focus while I practice that. This is being time efficient. So now that I'm at like 92, yeah, now that I'm at 92, I'm going to practice melee using the cudgel. This is why the cudgel is so good. I just got to level two. Now keep going, homie. Keep going. Uh, I'll take a break, because it's it's more efficient to take the break and... Yeah, I'm at 75%. Oh shit, I accidentally just, whatever. There you go. Um, stop practicing, yes. So, you can get all the way to level three melee doing that. that this, is, this is discretion being the better part of Valor right here. Because now, I even wonder, can I make a Tonfa yet? No, I can't make the Tonfa. So I got this weapon. It has only 10 bashing, but I, I still... I do think that'll be enough. God, my undershirt's getting so fucked up. I do think that'll be enough to hit these enemies the way I need to. Oh my god, look. It's almost clear. Come on, now I'm feeling confident. Yeah, yeah now I'm feeling confident. Where y'all at? Come at me. Where are they? Oh my gosh, I'm outside for the first time in forever. Feels good. And I'm, I'm beating these guys' asses. Let's see if I can hit it. 
Nice. I think I can hurt it. Yeah, just just barely I can hurt it. Nice. A nail gun. Wow, this is awesome. I'm getting super confident. I just keep going. I have like an adrenaline rush almost. I think that's truly, that's like truly everyone around me. Oh my god, he has a hacksaw. Sorry, hacksaw's a good tool, you want that. Okay, so that's like everyone around me. So again, the beauty of zones. It just takes me a second to do it, but it's so worth it in terms of how much total time I'll end up saving. So what I do is I'm gonna go to zones. There's no zones on this level. Um, I just want to do all of these right here. I think I'll let this be my base for a while. Actually, corpses, I want to go somewhere else. Corpses will go right here. This one's different. It doesn't matter where everything goes. I actually just want it to be as close to the stairs as possible. and unload is the same thing. This includes corpses. Damn, I should just not even bother with your corpses, actually. I just learned something. Okay. Unload everything here. Almost done. This is the cool part. For my unsorted zone, I'm gonna be so indulgent. I'm gonna just try to pick up, like, let's start with this whole building. Let's just start with this building. The entire fucking thing. All right, run it. <laughs> go, 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 look at him go, it's amazing. Just look at him go. When zombies come, I'll just kill them real quick. Bam. No, we, we won't actually do this everywhere we go. But at the beginning, we need a lot of stuff. So, at the beginning, I just want to be like a fucking pack rat. And get as much stuff as I can. Oh, well, 
acquire these for some reason. For some reason, I'm not picking this stuff up. This is clothing and spare parts. Did I do a spare parts? Yeah, I thought I did. This is being weird. It's like glitching. Look at this stuff. I think I almost have it though. Look, there's so much shit here. But for some reason... Damn, there's so much shit here too. Oh god, look, it takes so long to move the items. Okay. So I'm going to end this episode here. That was a crazy foray into the wild world out there, and we're about to reap the rewards. I'll finish sorting this stuff out, and I'll see you guys next time.